Welcome to Tech Brothers with Amir. In this video, we are going to learn uh, how to generate drop unique constraint scripts uh, in SQL Server database. Uh, so think uh, you are working as a SQL Server developer. You have created uh, unique constraints on different uh, columns on different tables in your database. Uh, you want to create a, a script uh, to drop all the unique constraints maybe, or maybe on some of the columns uh, from some of the database uh, tables. Uh, so you can go ahead and uh, generate the scripts uh, from uh, system tables. Uh, so here, let's say we go to the Tech Brothers IT database and we would like to see which unique constraints we have on different tables and then we would like to create the drop unique constraint script. First of all, we have to use a select asterisk from information schema dot table and the constraints. So this will give us all the constraints available in this database. But we are only interested in unique constraints. In my scenario, I don't have created any other constraints, but there are only two unique constraints. I'm going to just copy and just use a filter. So only give me the constraint type where it is unique, just to make sure. So that's how you will do. Maybe you have check constraint default, so you will not use them. And we would like to you create the drop scripts. And if you are, would like to drop the constraint, unique constraint on a column, you have to use the alter statement. You will say alter table and provide the table name, my table, whatever, and say drop constraint. And then you provide the constraint name. So that's the statement we can or we need to use. Now, this uh, same statement uh, can be built with the select query. We have the list of the information. Uh, different columns are returning us that information, such as uh, schema name, table name, and uh, constraint name. So we can use that information from this uh, system view and uh, create our uh, drop unique constraint statement. So just to tell you, if you say select A, Amir, so it will return you Amir as uh, a column so you can always generate these uh, small thing if it we will say from a table it will repeat this value let's say if i will use the same table and say select uh, this string uh, amir as my column column from uh, this table so whatever the number of records uh, this uh, view or table is returning these many uh, values or rows will be generated for this column so the value will be amir though so here, see, there are two values created. The same part uh, we are going to use here. So we need to say, I'm uh, going to say, put the single quotes here, say alter table, and then I need a schema. So you see that table uh, catalog, that's our uh, database, and this is a table schema. So we can say plus, and then uh, let's say have a parenthesis around in case our schema has uh, some space uh, or um, maybe um, some other special character in the name um, if somebody is using it in the schema name that should not be happening let's say if your schema is a sale total so this way if uh, this is a schema and you will try to create a draft statement without the parentheses it will fail so in cases where you have space uh, in schema name or the table name or any object name you have to have use uh, these uh, parentheses around it uh, so square parentheses and uh, that's what I'm using here. And then I will say table schema. I want you guys to get familiar with this one. So you have plus sign, then we are uh, putting single quotes, parenthesis close. I need a dot here. And then uh, I need opening parenthesis and quote. Now I can add the other column value. In this case, we need to use a table name. So table name and then plus sign, that's concatenation then single quotes and parentheses close. Now, you remember here we have altered table, schema name and table name. Next is drop constraint. So we have to type a drop constraint. It's the hard coded value. And then we have a parentheses here, single quotes. And now we need to provide the constraint name. So here, constraint name, name, plus, uh, and uh, that's all we have 
single quotes and parenthesis close. So these are just the strings you are attaching or adding or concatenating to these values. So these are the columns and then these are the just static values you're adding to make your query. So if we run this one, we got this queries are created. If you would like to give some name to this query, you can say as a drop unique constraint. Enter. And now we can go ahead and execute, copy these queries and run it. If we go ahead and run it, what happened? It should drop the unique constraint on our tables. So here, if you remember, we had two unique constraints in this database for multiple columns. So here, remember? So we had a unique constraint on this was only on the customer table on SSN and column and this was on first name and last name. So if I will go ahead and run it, it is going to drop those two constraints. If I'll check uh, this system view again, we have no constraints available as uh, these uh, statements has dropped the unique constraint. So this is how you will be able to build your alter table scripts uh, from uh, system uh, views or tables. Uh, this really helps. Uh, I'm trying to teach you guys uh, in real time how as a DB a developer you can work uh, uh, quickly and to generate those scripts uh, instead of just typing like for 10 of them copy and pasting uh, so how you can use the system uh, objects uh, such as view or the tables uh, to gather that information concatenate uh, and just by using simple statement how you can concatenate the column values with the static values and generate your SQL statements uh, that could be alter maybe drop and uh, etc thanks very much uh, for spending time with me and I will see you guys in the next video